Did you know that you can take water below freezing temperatures and still keep it as a liquid? Well you can, and today I'm going to show you all the fun tricks we can do with it. So I'm going to pour some distilled water into this glass cylinder I have. You can use purified water as well, but make sure that it's purified through reverse osmosis. When you're done, fill up a container with crushed ice or regular ice. Crushed ice is probably gonna work a little bit better though. Make sure you get it all. When you're done, take your cylinder or glass, whichever you have, and place it in and push all the ice up against it. You wanna make sure that the ice goes above the water line. And then add salt. The salt's gonna allow the ice to stay at its freezing point without melting. This will let us get the water to a very chilled temperature without much problem. Once you've added the salt, you need to wait about 15 minutes. That should get you down to the temperature you need. I've gone ahead and stuck a thermometer in here and judging by that thermometer, we're about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just below freezing. And the water is still a liquid. Now, as long as we don't agitate it too much, it'll remain a liquid until I add something else to it. For this experiment, I'm just gonna add a little piece of ice. And as you can see, it instantly freezes that glass of water. Let's try it again. I put a little bit more water in here this time. We've got the temperature just right. Be very careful when pulling it out though. If you're too rough with the water, it might freeze before you're ready. I'll add a slightly larger ice cube this time. This is going to allow the water to bond to something and start the crystallization process. And as you can see, it instantly freezes over. This is because the water is already under its freezing point, and the smallest additive to the water will start it up in its crystallization. So next time someone tells you it's impossible to get water below freezing point and keep it a liquid, you know better now. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Scientific Tuesdays. I want to thank the Cybertoons YouTube channel for doing the artwork of me at the beginning. You can check out his YouTube channel here. There's lots of good stuff there to see. Also, if you didn't get your Scientific Tuesdays t-shirt yet, click down on the link. It's in the description bar. And send me photos of you wearing the shirts. I'm going to start dropping them in at the end of the videos. So, we'll see you next week and take care.